Hey y'all, you wanna see my trailer? Come on. Surely you've already seen the previous two videos where I began this process of converting my cargo trailer into a hurricane emergency bug out RV thingamabobber jigger. Um, and thank you Shirley for watching those. I really appreciate that. Hopefully the rest of you have seen them as well. If you haven't, let me just show you real quick where we are. I built two seats. The seats lift up. The seats have storage underneath. I built a table. The legs come out from underneath the table. The table drops. It makes a bed. There's going to be a second bed above that bed. Yep, it's a bunk bed and we'll get to that in this video. I bought a toilet. I made a lot of toilet jokes. I'll have more of those to come also. Okay, farty people, enough about that. Let's get started. Most important today is this, this, this. Pay attention. Never mind. You don't need to see that. Actually, I want to thank my dad for doing these drawings. You may remember him. You probably saw him in the last video. Thank you, handsome man. Anyway, let's get started. Safety first. these two inch wide strips out of some uh, two by fours and two by sixes that I had on hand. This is what is going to make up the upper bunk bed that slides up and down. So I'm going to get this frame put together. built. Time to put a sheet of half inch on one side and a sheet of quarter inch on the other side. By the time this is glued up, this thing's going to be super strong. for me? No? You disappoint me. So I used three quarter inch plywood and I cut these four and a quarter inch strips and that's going to leave me with an inch and a half above the bed bottom, I guess you'd call it the bed base. I'm going to wrap the entire uh, bed base with this plywood and that'll hold, that's going to give it some extra strength and it'll also keep the mattress once I get that made from coming off of there. So these bottles work really well when you have a lot of glue, but when you get down to a little bit, and this is literally all the glue I have, uh, and they're kind of difficult to use. I can't get this glue to come out of here. Hi 
Hallelujah, I found some more glue. Hallelujah, thank God. Okay. 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 <sighs> Lord. So, I built this with thinking that this would be very light because it's so small. And then basically I overbuilt it and it's heavy, but oh well, here we go. Let's try to get this in. I'm, I need to take this leg off first. Mucho mas bueno. All right. It's so heavy. Okay, so that was a lot heavier than I thought it was gonna be. There goes a leg, but it's in. And so there's lots of ways, I've seen a lot of people do these different ways. One way is to put a hydraulic um, strut on each side to help lift it. But I don't really wanna make this thing that complicated. Uh, my thinking is I've got some trailer pins that I may just drill through the two by fours and Lift it up, put those through, but I'm kind of thinking about just taking a two by four and cutting it to length and putting a piece of Velcro on it and maybe a little handle and that would just hold it up because the plan is Why won't you go? Oh, I see I got a screw up in there. And it's just that easy, folks. So, uh, yeah, there's two screws in the wall over there. That's what I was getting hung up on. One day later and we are still at it because it got late yesterday and I just, <laughs> it got hot and I was tired. So what we're doing now, what I'm doing now, we, you're on this journey with me, taking a two inch piano hinge and cutting it into approximately one foot sections. And this is gonna go on these 25 inch two by fours that are going to hold up the bed and they're gonna swing out when I wanna lower it. for the lighting out here it's super bright there's nothing I can do about it real quick I wanted to go over this is the generator that I purchased to power the trailer it's a predator 3500 this comes from Harbor Freight um, I was a little bit concerned because you know it's Harbor Freight but I did buy the extended warranty for it so far I've used it a few times and I've been really impressed it's uh, super quiet and it has plenty of power to, uh, to power everything in here. The reason why I wanted to go ahead and get this out is because it is super hot out here today. And I wanna get it plugged in and get the air conditioning on before I work in there anymore.
So I just heard FedEx leave and hopefully they have dropped off what I think they have. Let's see. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's not that exciting. But it is the refrigerator slash freezer for the trailer build. So let's get this open and check it out. Pay no attention to the mess behind me. I like to keep a clean workspace, you know what I'm saying? So the brand that manufactures this, or at least puts their name on it, is Hisense. I never heard of them, but I figure that should go well with me since I've got no sense. I think that'll be great because this is just for emergencies. This, we're not going to be spending a week. Well, I mean, I guess we could spend a week in this. Uh, the intention is to hopefully only spend a few days in this at a time if we had to. So I looked at a lot of these like ARB uh, cooler uh, refrigerator freezers that are uh, 12 volt. And all of these are just like, they're just super expensive because they're made for extended periods of time if you're uh, do, living you know an overlander type lifestyle which is not what this is for i have a i have a tendency to go overboard and feel like i have to have like the coolest gadgetiest thing there is and then uh, some sense was talked into me and it was like well, we just spend the least amount of money to accomplish what i need and just one of these cheap refrigerators under counter will work beautifully my dad came out here and kind of laid this out. He's been trying to figure out where the best spot for us to put the wall would be. There's the bathroom, future bathroom and toilet. No toilet jokes right now, but maybe I'll think of one before this is over. Right here is where the wall will be. This is going to be cabinets. We'll put a sink right here. And then this will be cabinets right here. And right there is where that refrigerator is going to set. So now you know. And knowing is half the battle. For the last 30 minutes, I've had some luxurious air pumping up in here, but I gotta cut it off or you won't be able to hear what I'm saying. I'm gonna get this bed out of here so that I can put these blocks in. Let's do it. This will be easy. This will be easy, I said. You just wait. You just wait till it's done. What I've done here is marked, I measured up because this is gonna flip in like that. And then it's gonna flip out like that. So I just made a measurement that's the same from here because the hinge is not gonna bear any weight. The weight is gonna be, once this is closed, it's gonna be resting on the two by four down below. So one thing to keep in mind is I didn't want this thing to be the nicest system that I could build. I wanted it to be the simplest system that I could build. And I think I've achieved that. Uh, obviously getting it in and out by myself is a bit of a hassle, but I'm not going to be my, by myself when I use this thing. Um, my wife will be with me and she can help me lift one end up. So it's going to be 10 times easier, but the simplicity of it, I'm, I'm just thrilled with. Okay. I take bottom, you take top. 
In the next video, I'm gonna tackle that bathroom wall, the cabinets, getting the refrigerator in here, and uh, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. See ya.